Tonight, we start with video you will only see on CBS 47. A racist outburst at a Fresno McDonald's goes viral on social media with over hundreds of thousands of engagements since being posted over the weekend. And a man is being called a hero after stepping in when he says the woman was degrading McDonald's employees. CBS 47's Esteban Reynoso joins us live in studio with the latest Esteban. And Catherine, we just learned that the woman in the video is no longer employed. We met with Luis Aceves who confronted the woman in this video. He's that man right there. His friends were recording the whole incident while they were at lunch together. And he says the woman exploded at employees over a soda. This is video of a Central Valley woman using a racist term on a man at this McDonald's on Fresno and Shaw on Friday. The man in the video is Luis Aceves. His friends were recording the video that now has hundreds of thousands of views. Employees were already explaining that there was somebody cussing out them through the window, you know, through the drive through window, and we, we overheard them too. It hit a point for you where it was like, I don't care what happens, I need to step in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then once she started like sitting there telling people, you know, oh, who are you? Look where you work. Look at look at what you're wearing. It's like you can even hear it in the video. Our newsroom confirmed with her employer that the woman in the video is Gina Ayala. The dental office of Jack Ohanesian sent out a statement on Saturday saying she was first on administrative leave, but after we called to confirm her as an employee with the dental office, they released a new statement saying in part, quote, an employee who is seen on video making offensive comments is no longer part of our team. They go on to say our diversity is our strength and it's a cornerstone of our lives and of our dental practice, they say, end quote. But despite the racist man, remarks. Man, I, love, I love my Arasa. I love, I love my Mexican people, my Mexican culture, man. Aceves says he isn't holding any grudges towards Aiello and is wishing her the best. We shouldn't even be doing this to each other, you know? We shouldn't even be, you know, going at each other like that. We're all struggling. We're all trying to find our purpose in life, and we just, you know, it just sucks that we sometimes have a bad day. And today we tried to reach out to Mrs. Aiello through her phone number to get her side of this story, but she did not pick up our call. Live in the studio, Esteban Reynoso, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.